and uh, for you to understand that from which carbon actually the ring expansion was going to take place the question the doubt was uh, between this bond and this bond i chose this bond because the migratory aptitude of a 3 degree carbon was more than that of a 2 degree carbon all right so i hope that you understand this okay so we shall move on so in dehydration we get a rearranged product okay so as like in this case okay we get we got a rearranged product as this okay so we were talking about Sedzef alkene and a Hoffman alkene okay I, I would take up one more example so that you get the concept of uh, Sedzef and Hoffman okay uh, let's suppose we have an alkene uh, we have an alcohol like this one butanol I would rather take this up a little bit faster we get a carbocation like this it rearranges like this and we get this plus a product like this so by Sedzef rule this is a more stabilized product than this why so I would suggest you not to mug up those names of uh, names of the rules rather than uh, rather you try to understand why this alkene was stabler than this this alkene has six alpha hydrogens and this alkene has only two alpha hydrogens so the number of no bond resonance structures of this alkene is more than that of this 2 butene has more number of um, hyperconjugable structures than uh, than one butene okay so we know that the if the number of canonical structures increase the stability of the molecule increases so this is the more stable product and known as the Sedzef Sedzef product and this is the Hoffman product alright so I'll quickly move on to the next set of reactions okay this is very much alike dehydration it's pina coal pina colon reaction okay so let me just write out the general equation general representative reaction for this we have a cis vicinal diol or the pinacol in this case okay when we add H plus or an acid we get a carbocation like this because when this H plus attacks on this OH a water molecule leaves the substrate leaving a plus charge on the carbocation or uh, leaving a plus charge on the carbon and thus we get a carbocation now this rearranges okay this carbocation rearranges and we get a 
carbocation like this. Now, we get this. Fine. So, from a vicinal, cis vicinal diol, we are left with a carbonyl compound. So, let me just um, recap, uh, recap the theory. Okay. So, this H plus attacks the OH, H2O molecule leaves, leaving a carbocation over here. This carbocation rearranges. After the rearrangement, the H and H plus and H and H plus um, ion should leave the molecule because it was acid catalyzed. So this H plus leaves, and we are left with a ketone over here. Okay, we are left with a ketone. Now I would elaborate the aspect of this reaction. Okay, so. you understood that you understood the uh, basic approach of this reaction that we get a we have a diol carbocation is formed rearrangement takes place and we get a carbonyl compound as the product okay so the rearrangement involves four steps the first one one of the hydroxyl groups is protonated in the first step As we saw that the H plus uh, the H plus from the acid attacked an OH of the substrate, and uh, OH two plus was being generated. Okay. The next step is a molecule is a molecule of water is eliminated. Is eliminated. Okay. The third step, we have a a tertiary carbocation has formed. This isn't a step because when the H two molecule is eliminated, the tertiary carbocation is already formed. Okay. The third step. <coughs> the carbocation or the carbonium ion rearranges into a more stable carbocation via One to rearrangement. Okay, and the final step. <coughs> Excuse me. And in the final step. The carbocation is deprotonated and a product carbonyl compound is is formed okay now the question arises as to where the first h as to where the h plus um, 
the uh, where the h plus attacks the substrate we know that the h plus will attack to the oh minus and then subsequently a carbocation is being formed you see uh, the h plus keep in mind that the h plus attacks that oh only on d on uh, on uh, on which on removal of the h2o a more stable carbocation should be formed okay i mean to say that the h plus will attack that oh minus that will intend to give a stabler carbocation 